I'm going back to school. <laughs> Here we have Mur and Lightning Cam sitting down. Cam on that Diddy Kong. If you don't count Denti and you only count Dakwell, he's like the second best Diddy. Regardless, he's top three in DFW. And then Mur, also I, a top three Mario. So. At this point, given how long it's been since Denti has played, I'm willing to bet Cam's Diddy might be better than Denti's. This is also true. It could just like be straight up better anyway. So yeah, I would say Cam's number two, uh, Diddy and DFW, because my opinion is uh, objectively true always. Well, no. My opinion says otherwise. So, Cal, those are <laughs> those would be bold words coming even from the likes of Dak Poe or Sethlon, but to come from you, that is a bold statement. That Cam, is that though, is that is Cam Doritos is nacho. Objectively rocking out right now on Mer. So, yeah, he's yeah. doing very well. I'm always right. What can I tell you? The thing is, Murr's <laughs> always needed to solid up his neutral game. He's yes. always had an incredible punish game. Yes, yes. Uh, lab monster, as many would call him. His combo game is not. His neutral just isn't there. Yeah, and that's and that's the biggest issue for him. Is you know once he gets in like this, you're in for quite a lot of percent. But getting there is the problem for him, and especially against a character and a player with such airtight neutral as Lightning Cam's Diddy Kong. Mm -hmm. It'd be hard pressed to find a situation where Murr is going to have an easy time getting those combos. And right there, you see Cam actually possibly baiting him to go get that banana then for the clap up smash. Clean, clean, clean. I was talking to Kaze and Oryx a little while back, and they were saying uh, this is right around when Kasoka started showing up a little bit more and more and like starting getting real good results along with Murr when they're both kind of like equals, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and they were like, if Kasoku's neutral is put into like Mur or Mur's punish gun is put into Kasoku, they'd be the best Mur on the planet. Oh yeah, because Mur's combo game is like immaculate, but he can't always find the kill and he can't play that neutral super well. But Kasoku just doesn't rely on combo games. He just relies on like one, like seven or ten neutral exchanges in his favor to like get you up to high percent and fishes for that kill. Yeah, if you combined Kasoku's neutral and Mur's combo game, you would get a you would get a Mario that looks not dissimilar to Zenyu. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be clean. I, I love Zenyu's Mario, dude. Zenyu's a homie, too. Shout out to Zenyu. I know you're not watching, but if you are, shout outs. <laughs> that's a presumptuous <laughs> thing to say, considering Zenyu has been here before. That, yeah, that's true. He has been here, so he might, he might be watching over us. Love you, Zenyu. We love huh. you. He's a homie. Right now, I'm loving this game. Yeah. This game's super chill. Ooh, good early up be there by Murr. It's looking a lot more even here going into these second stocks. Unfortunately, Cam is still on his first, so... Uh, he's done a lot. He's putting a lot of work in this game, but Murr's able to keep it, you know. He's, it's looking like he's starting to be able to adapt a little bit to Cam's neutral, keeping this second stock a lot closer. But uh, still going to get hit in the face with, the, with that one. Yeah, he's been noticing that Murr's been coming down uh, whenever Murr is anywhere near Lightning Cam. Mm -hmm. He likes to come down with the attacks. Yeah. And so Lightning Cam was able to just say, well, my up smash will probably beat whatever aerial you're trying to come down with. Absolutely. And in most cases, Cam's been right. So, mm -hmm. shout -outs. I think another mistake that Mer made, uh, it was just one, but it was specific to playing against Lightning Cam, which is that whenever Cam is very close to the ledge and charges the barrels more than he needs to to just get there, chances are he's probably going to go on stage. So, oh, yeah. you always need to be wary for that. And he's going, like, right for you. He's oh, definitely yeah. trying to, like, rack in more percent <laughs> for sure. Because why wouldn't you, dude? Oh, yeah. May as well. It's pretty safe. Yeah. You but literally have explosives strapped to your back. Like, what's the, the worst that's going to happen? It's the worst thing that happens. <laughs> you're, you're just both going to explode, and he's at lower percent. And he has another stock on you, so it's fine. Ooh. But, yeah, see? Murr's combo game is stupid good. Yeah, Murr won, like, one exchange in neutral, and Cam is at 88. Oh. Made that 101. He Zoe did. 101, my favorite show shots to Zoe. <laughs> Uh, one one thing that I really like from Mer that really shows just how good his combo game is is he he had the chain going could have finished off with the up B but because he was on Lilat he knew he had a lot of horizontal space to work with Lilat oh, tilted away from him see ya uh, but Lilat, he used a back air to not cam back over the stage and then use the low platforms knowing that it would take Cam a little while to get down right oh yeah so he used the fact that those platforms were low to continue that combo when Cam was coming down and I really like that little bit big fan of that. Yeah, but Cam, monkeying around, you might say, as he's still on his first stock once again. That was a reach. Murr's yet to take a stock in the set, so maybe he'll be able to do it here. 
The first Tossmash up smash. Not gonna do it. He actually uh, had a little problem with Lilat there because when Lilat tilts, the blast zones also tilt with it. That's true. And it looked like Lilat tilted the blast zones away, but Cam, oh, Cam. Cam also having Lilat tilt away from him. Hey, Cam. Uh Known for overcharging his barrels, not really undercharging his barrels there. So yeah, interesting. I almost never see that from Cam. He's so good at recovering. Yeah. But oh, okay, that up tilt. Come out from Mur, trying to get these low percent combos going. Yeah, Mur plays a very good combo, uh, a very good character if he wants to focus on like a combo game. Because mm -hmm. Mario's low percent combos are just dumb good. In all honesty. All right, safely recovered. Now back on the platform, which now Mur's in a good position. He had control of the stage, but he actually gave it up for free right there, yeah. using jumping all the way up over Cam. And Diddy Kong's fast enough to get right in there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's got too much rage. Yeah, not gonna be able to get too much off of these uh, combos anymore. Mur's in a really bad spot. This is where Mur just needs to play a little bit more like Kasoku, win these neutral exchanges, and then eventually just go for one or two punishing combos. Wow. But Regrab gonna get grabbed right out of that one with the down smash, and uh, we'll see you later. That was very good coverage from Cam. Yeah, Cam played that really well. Cam uh, played very well. Yeah. Cam I think Cam that. played pretty good. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. He's very good. I was hoping you would continue the thing. 